There are 22 species of woodpeckers found in North America, but in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the seven most common ones. We'll learn a little about each one, where they live, what they like to eat, and then at the end, we'll share some tips on how you can attract these incredible birds to your own backyard. First on our list is the downy woodpecker. Not only the smallest, but also one of the most common woodpeckers in North America. Measuring just about six to seven inches in length, the downy woodpecker is easily recognizable by its black and white back, white belly, and small delicate beak. Males have a red spot at the back of their head while the females do not. Downy woodpeckers are highly adaptable, found in a variety of habitats from dense forests to suburban backyards across their range, which covers nearly the entire United States from Alaska to Florida. They love to feed on insects like ants, caterpillars, and beetles, but are also among the most common birds to visit feeders. They aren't shy about investigating what food you've put out and enjoy eating suet, sunflower seeds, and peanut pieces. They may even visit your hummingbird feeder for a sip of sweet nectar. Next up, we have the hairy woodpecker, which you may immediately notice looks an awful lot like the downy woodpecker we just talked about. In fact, their patterns and coloring are nearly identical. Looking at their size is the best way to tell them apart. Hairy woodpeckers are larger, around nine to 10 inches in length, but another way that's just as easy to spot is that they have a significantly longer beak. Hairy woodpeckers are also found throughout the United States with their range completely overlapping the downies in most areas. However, the hairy's range is a bit more extensive, stretching down into parts of Mexico and Central America. They inhabit mature forests, wooded parks, and even backyards where large trees are present. They primarily feed on insects, particularly wood boring beetles, making them valuable allies in pest control. Hairy woodpeckers make their nests by carving out cavities in dead wood. Once the hairies are done using them, these cavities become important nesting spots for other birds, such as wrens, bluebirds, nuthatches, and chickadees. These woodpeckers may visit backyard feeders, but in my experience, they tend to be a bit more shy and hesitant than their downy cousins. Our third woodpecker for this list is the northern flicker. The northern flicker is quite a unique woodpecker, often seen on the ground rather than in trees. With its barred brown back, spotted belly, and bright underwings, the northern flicker is a very colorful bird with striking patterns. They're found across the United States and are common in areas with a mix of open ground for foraging and trees for nesting. In the eastern United States, the northern flicker is typically known as the yellow shafted flicker. These birds have bright yellow undersides on their wing and tail feathers, and males display a distinctive black mustache on their faces. In contrast, the western population, known as the red shafted flicker, features reddish orange undersides on their wings and tail feathers. The males of this variety have a red mustache stripe instead of black. Unlike other woodpeckers, flickers spend a lot of time on the ground hunting for ants, which make up a significant part of their diet. They can drill into the ground to open up ant nests and then scoop up dozens at a time with their long tongue. Coming in at number four, we have the red-bellied woodpecker. These woodpeckers are known for the vibrant red stripe along the back of their head and their black and white barred back. As their name suggests, they do have a small pinkish red patch on their lower belly, but it's very hard to see unless they're positioned at the right angle. In fact, many people might think they are poorly named until they see number six on this list. The most obvious difference between male and female red-bellied woodpeckers is the amount of red on their heads. Males have a bright red cap that extends from their beak over the top of their head to the nape of the neck. In contrast, females have red only on the nape with gray along the front of their head. From a distance, it's not easy to tell them apart, but if you get an up-close view, it's pretty simple. 
These woodpeckers are a common sight in the eastern and southeastern United States from the Great Lakes down to Florida. They thrive in mixed woodlands, especially where mature trees are abundant. Red-bellied woodpeckers are omnivorous and enjoy everything from insects, nuts, fruits, invertebrates, and even small reptiles. They are very frequent visitors to backyard feeders, particularly those offering suet and peanuts. Our fifth common woodpecker is also the largest woodpecker species in North America, the pileated woodpecker. With its striking red crest, black body, and white stripes on the face and neck, the pileated woodpecker is about the size of a crow and always impressive to see. A main difference between males and females is the color of the stripe on their cheek, red for males and black for females. Another difference, just like with the red-bellied woodpeckers, is that the red on the male's head extends from the nape to the beak, unlike the female. They form monogamous pairs and work together to hold large territories. For this reason, it would be unusual to see more than two adult pileated woodpeckers at a time. They prefer large, mature forests with plenty of dead trees for nesting and foraging. They're very skilled at detecting the presence of carpenter ants and other insects within the wood. Once they locate a colony, they use their strong chisel-like beaks to create large rectangular shaped openings that can reach deep inside the tree, exposing the tunnels where carpenter ants live. After breaking through the wood, they extend their long barbed tongues into the holes to extract ants. You may also see them near the ground making wood chips out of dead tree stumps and fallen logs as they search for insects. Their range spans the eastern United States and parts of the Pacific Northwest. They're less likely to visit suburban areas, but can occasionally be attracted to backyards that are adjacent to large wooded areas if you put out suet feeders. Next is definitely one of our favorites to spot, the red-headed woodpecker. With its completely red head and neck, stark white body, and black wings, it's one of the most visually striking woodpeckers in North America and is hard to mistake this bird for any other. Adult males and females don't have any distinguishing differences in appearance. Red-headed woodpeckers are commonly found in open woodlands, orchards, and groves, particularly in the central and eastern United States. They feed on things like insects, fruits, and seeds, and even small rodents. Red-headed woodpeckers are known for their skill in catching insects in midair, which is not a typical trait of woodpeckers. They're also known for storing food in tree crevices, especially things like beech nuts and acorns. Live grasshoppers may even be hidden away for later, wedged so tightly into a crevice that they can't escape. Red-headed woodpeckers aren't a common sight at backyard feeders in comparison to other woodpeckers. They certainly aren't at ours, but may be more likely to visit your yard during the winter, especially for large nuts, acorns, or dried berries. Last on our list is the yellow-bellied sapsucker, a small to medium-sized woodpecker with a distinctive red crown, black and white patterned back, and pale yellowish belly. Males have a red patch beneath the chin, while females' chin is white. While they're still members of the woodpecker family, sapsuckers focus more on eating tree sap than insects. Yellow-bellied sapsuckers drill rows of small holes in tree bark, creating tunnels, also known as wells, that fill up with sap. They will then use their tongue to lap up that sap as well as eat the insects that may be attracted to it. Unlike the other woodpeckers on this list that remain in their ranges year-round or only move short distances, the yellow-bellied sapsucker is migratory. They breed in the northern U.S. and Canada and then spend winters in the southeastern U.S., Mexico, and Central America. They prefer deciduous forests, especially those with sap-rich trees like birch, maple, or hickory. Now that you know a little bit about each of these seven woodpecker species, we'll give you some tips on how to attract some of them to your yard. Number one, provide food. Woodpeckers love suet, 
peanuts, and sunflower seeds. Setting up a feeder with these offerings can attract them to your yard. Suet feeders are particularly effective, especially in colder months when insects are less available. Number two, offer water. A bird bath or small fountain can provide a much needed water source for woodpeckers, especially during hot weather. Keeping the water fresh and clean will help attract a variety of birds. Number three, creating nesting sites. Woodpeckers are cavity nesters, so they're attracted to dead trees and large branches. If it's safe for you to do so, consider leaving dead trees or limbs in your yard. Alternatively, you can install nest boxes designed for woodpeckers. Number four, avoid pesticides. Woodpeckers feed on insects, so keeping your yard free of pesticides ensures a natural food source for these birds. An insect-rich environment will help keep them coming back. By following these tips, you can create a welcoming environment for woodpeckers and enjoy their fascinating behavior right from your window. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more birdwatching content.